All right, well, hello everybody. My name is The Last Hodler, and as probably you know already from my previous videos, I am one of the lead blockchain developers for a blockchain company from the UK called Online Blockchain. And I'd just like to talk to you today about a few little things that I think are really gonna help you if you're forking your own cryptocurrency from Bitcoin. And they're definitely stuff that you're gonna need to know um, anyway down the line. So I might as well just tell you, okay? So the first thing is, um, I'm going to show you is how you can change the total volume of your cryptocurrency from the standard uh, 21 million coins that Bitcoin has. Okay, you can have any number you like. You can have 100 million, 50 million, a billion, six, anything you like, um, just by changing this one value. Okay, so first things first, um, let's go to the official GitHub repository for Bitcoin, which is just github.com slash Bitcoin slash Bitcoin. And um, I'll meet you in the uh, source folder in a file called amount.h. Okay, so once you're here, um, take a quick look at line number 26 and you will see um, a variable definition um, for something called max money. Okay, it's uh, a static constant um, C amount um, called max money. Okay, and um, the reason it's not an integer and we're using something called um, C amount um, is so that the Bitcoin code can more easily manipulate um, the money values um, in other areas of the code and um, I guess you could say, um, work with that value a little bit more easily, okay? But for all intents and purposes, the thing that you really need to focus on here is this number, um, 21 million times coin, okay? So we can change this number to whatever we like. We can make it 100 million, we can make it 50 million, we can make it five, we can make it whatever we like. And actually, this is the only place in the entire code where this is defined, okay? So um, it's really quite simple. That's all you need to change if you want to change the uh, total volume of your coin. So the next thing I would like to talk about moving forward is something called the Coinbase maturity. Okay, and I'll just explain to you um, exactly what the Coinbase maturity is. Um, I'll just bring it up as well. So what the Coinbase maturity is, is okay, so you're a Bitcoin miner, you've just mined a Bitcoin uh, block, and your reward is uh, 50 coins, all right? But you can't spend those coins straight away, all right? You have to wait for the um, block that you've mined to mature, all right? And the reason for that is, all right, everybody's trying to mine blocks at the same time, okay? And when you find a block, you transmit it to the rest of the network, all right? But what if you've mined a block, okay, and then you uh, attempt to transmit it to the network, but during the time of that transmission, someone else um, in the other side of the world has also mined a block, and they've mined another block on top of that as well. Okay, so actually, you no longer have um, the longest chain, and these people who, that person that's mined even further than you, hasn't uh, even received the notification that you've mined anything yet. So they've, uh, unfortunate for you, um, they've, um, they've beaten you, and they have a longer chain, so your chain is now orphaned, it's now invalid, no one cares about it, they care about the longest chain, okay? So you want to have a mechanism there where you can be sure that the whole network has accepted that you have um, mined that block and they're not going to orphan your block um, after you've spent the coins, right? Because that would, that would, that would uh, create all kinds of problems as far as um, making sure um, I can give you money that you, that you can actually have and it won't just be orphaned um, later on down the line. So the, the, the Coinbase maturity for Bitcoin is actually 100 blocks, right? Which means you have to wait after you've mined, you have to wait an entire 100 blocks, 100 times 10 minutes, um, just before you can transact with those coins, okay? Um, and so as far as um, the actual number 100 is concerned, um, it's, it's a little bit, to be honest, a little bit overkill. You don't really need to wait 100 blocks um, to be sure that a block's not gonna be orphaned, right? It's actually something more like six or seven blocks is to the point where it will never happen, right? It will never happen that we will orphan that many blocks all in one go, right? And then screw up a miner's reward, okay? So 100, 100 blocks, a lot of um, uh, altcoins change that, um, change that um, Coinbase maturity to a much lower number. And there are a few reasons for this, okay? The main reason that you might want to change your Coinbase maturity down to a much lower number is that if, if your miners are engaging with a mining pool and they are mining away, okay, and they have to wait a thousand minutes before that they, they can get the, the coins back that they've mined, they're gonna get upset with you. And actually, as a pool operator, one of the main, um, I guess, grievances you get from the people who are mining on your pool is that they're not getting their coins quickly enough. They're not um, staying engaged because they're mining, you know, they might mine for a few hours for fun, just there's a new coin they're excited about, but then they have to wait a thousand minutes to get their coins. Like, that's a long time. So you might want to, um, 
change that Coinbase maturity to a lower number, but you don't want it to be too low so that people um, are getting um, their blocks orphaned and not getting the reward for mining their blocks. So there's a trade-off there. Um, you want to make sure that that isn't happening, but you also want to make sure that your miners don't have to wait uh, too long before they get them their money back. Okay, And so this um, parameter, it also lends itself it, it, it's in conjunction with the block time, okay? So for Bitcoin, the block time is 10 minutes, right? That's quite a long time for, for a block time as, as cryptocurrencies go. So the Coinbase maturity is 100 times 10 minutes, right? In, in, a, in a time sense. But if your block time is one minute, it would only be 100 times one minute, right? So that is a lot um, less time to wait. So um, you've got to really consider what the best Coinbase maturity for your coin is compared to um, its block time, because they're, they're going to feed and they're going to trade off each other. So they, they need to be thought of um, at exactly the same time. Okay, so that brings me to the next kind of tip that I'm going to help you um, learn today, which is um, changing um, exactly what the block reward is for mining a block okay so for bitcoin it's 50 right and the um total supply of bitcoin is 21 million right so it makes sense to have a block reward of 50 it, it was a calculated uh, it was a calculated decision um and there's going to be an issuance over time and um it was um you know satoshi nakamoto thought this through and set up those parameters that way. But if you're gonna have a higher total volume in your coin, let's say your coin has a billion total volume, right? Um, the um, halving subsidy is such that you will never get to a billion, okay? Um, with the same parameters of the Bitcoin network, because the halving subsidy is going to chop your um, is going to chop your mining reward from 50 to 25 to 12 and a half, 6.25, all the way down to asymptoting to zero, way before you're going to get anywhere near a billion, right? So you're going to need to change um, the mining reward um, of your coin to 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 get there. There's there's going to be a few reasons why you want to change that. Okay, so we're going to have a look at that next. Um, that is in uh, again in the source folder in a file called validation.cpp. All right, so we're in there now, and it's line one thousand one hundred and eighty-five. Okay, apparently it's not. Apparently it's in. Uh, it's on line one one three nine. I must have written that down wrong. Okay, so as you can see here on line one one three nine, um, the end subsidy. So end subsidy is um, synonymous with mining reward. Okay, um, it equals fifty times coins. So fifty coins, right? So if you want to change that amount to let's say five hundred coins or thousand coins, you simply need to change. Um, this number, okay. Um, this end subsidy of uh, the, the mining reward, it's it's. This is the only place where it's referenced in the code, okay. Um, you don't need to go into any other areas of the code and change it. This is the only place. So if you want to change your reward from fifty to five hundred, just change that word. From, just change that line from fifty to five hundred, okay. The co the only considerations you'll have to make when doing that is that you want to be sure of what your emission of coins is over time. Okay, if you give your coins away too quickly, um, the mining is going to stop because no one's going to be getting um, any coins for mining anymore. If you give your coins away too slowly, then you'll never be able to give them all away. So um, the mining reward, you have to you have to look at the mining reward and you have to look at the halving interval and you have to look at the block time and you have to, it's a multivariance equ equation, right? You have to look at all of those factors and figure out what your emission of coins is gonna be over time, right? Maybe you want all of your coins um, to be emitted to the miners um, over 10 years. Maybe you want it to be over one year. Maybe you want it to be over three months, right? But these are the key factors that are going to um, affect uh, that issuance and exactly how long it takes and all of that kind of thing. All right. So I hope, I hope that's been really helpful for you. Uh, please remember to hodl for as long as possible as always. And um, comment if you'd like to see anything else in particular, and I'll try to help you with any questions that you have. And as always, if you are going to be um, forking the Bitcoin code into your own altcoin, make sure you subscribe and I'll teach you everything there is to know um, for making altcoins and all of that kind of thing.